Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, Wikipedia Article Audio The Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga is a style of yoga codified and popularized by K. Pat Abhai Joyce during the 20th century which is often promoted as a modern-day form of classical Indian yoga. Ashtanga means eight limbs or branches, of which asana or physical yoga posture is merely one branch, breath, or pranayama is another. Both Pat Abhai Joys and Sherath Joys, his grandson, encourage practice of Ashtanga Yoga, all eight limbs. The first two limbs, Yamas and Nayamas, are given special emphasis to be practiced in conjunction with the third and fourth limbs. Sri K. Pat Abhai Joyce began his yoga studies in 1927 at the age of 12, and by 1948 had established the Ashtanga Yoga Research Institute for teaching the specific yoga practice known as Ashtanga Yoga. Ashtanga Yoga is named after the eight limbs of yoga mentioned in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Principles My Sower Style Power Yoga is a generic term that may refer to any type of aerobically vigorous yoga exercise derived from Ashtanga Yoga. The term My Sower Style comes from the city Mysore, in Karnataka, India where Pat Abhai Joyce and T. Krishnamcharya taught. Students are expected to memorize a sequence and practice in the same room as others without being led by the teacher. The role of the teacher is to guide as well as provide adjustments or assists in postures. Twice per week my sore style classes are substituted with lead classes, where the teacher takes a group through the same series at the same time. The inclusion of two lead classes per week was only included in P. Joy's senior years. Usually an Ashtanga practice begins with five repetitions of Surya Namaskara A and five repetitions of Surya Namaskara B, followed by a standing sequence. Following this the practitioner begins one of six series, followed by what is called the closing sequence. The six series are Nancy Gilgoff reports that originally there were four series on the Ashtanga syllabus, Primary, Intermediate, Advanced A, and Advanced B. A fifth series of sorts was the Rishi series, which Guruji said could be done once a practitioner had mastered these four. Anthony Gary Lokdota also confirms this. Sequences and Series According to Sherith Joyce, one must master poses before being given permission to attempt any others that follow. However, Manju Joyce disagrees. According to Manju's accounts of his father's instruction, Pat Abhai Joyce also occasionally allowed students to practice in a non-linear format. Many of Pat Abhai Joyce students now teach their Mysore classes in similar style offering posture variations, and teaching Ashtanga in a much less linear style, with a greater emphasis on alignment and breathing. Sharatha's new generation of young students have adopted Sharatha's new rules, and teach in a linear style without variations. According to the Sharath generation, variations are not allowed, and practice must be in a strict Mysore environment under the guidance of a Sherath approved teacher. How to videos and workshops, detailed alignment instructions, and strength building exercises are not part of the method, neither for the practitioner or the teacher. These types of instruction are not approved by Sherath, and never taught by Sherath. However most of his teachers who claim to have been taught by him will teach the above methods, exercises, and postures, even though none of what they teach is part of the Ashtanga method of instruction under Sherath. Method of Instruction Pat Abhai Joyce also did not require students to independently drop back and come up from back bending before progressing to the second series. 
Sherath changed the requirements, and has now made this mandatory. Officially, the style has very little alignment instruction. However, many of Pat Thabai Joy's earliest teachers did emphasize very detailed alignment and posture breakdown instructions, based on information they gathered outside of Pat Abhai Joy's direct instruction. Sharatha's teachers followed a similar trend, however unlike Pat Abhai Joy's students, attribute all their knowledge to Sharath. This stands in contradiction to the fact that Sharath does not teach or speak about alignment at any point in his instruction of students or teachers. Alignment There is a lot of debate over the term traditional as applied to Ashtanga Yoga. Students of Pat Abhai Joyce noted, that he modified the sequence to suit the practitioner. Some of the differences include the addition or subtraction of postures in the sequences, changes to the vinyasa, and specific practice prescriptions to specific people. Tradition Nancy Gilgoff describes many differences in the way she was taught Ashtanga to the way it is taught now. She notes that Pat Abhai Joyce originally left out seven postures in the standing sequence, but later assigned a Theta Astapadangus Thasana and Ardha Bada Padmatanasana before the intermediate series was given. She notes that Utkatasana, Virabhadrasana A and B, Paravrita Trikanasana and Paravrita Parsvakanasana were not in the series at this point. Tristhana she also notes that he did not give her vinyasa between sides of the body poses or between variations of a pose likewise Bada Kosana, Yupavishta Konasana and Supta Konasana were also grouped together without vinyasa between them, as were Abhaya Padangas Thasana and Urdva Mukha Paskamatanasana. According to Gilgoff, Pat Abhai Joyce prescribed practicing twice a day, primary and intermediate, with no vinyasa between sides in Crownchasana, Bharadvahasana, Ardhamatsyandrasana, Eka Padasursasana, Pariyasana and Gamukasana in the intermediate series. Shailabhasana to Parsvadhanurasana were done in a group, with the vinyasa only at the end. Ushtrasana through Kapotasana also were done all together. The same went for Eka Pada Sursasana through Yoga Nidrasana. The closing sequence included only Madrasana, Padmasana and Tolasana until the completion of the intermediate sequence, when the remainder of the closing sequence was assigned. Urdhvadhanurasana and dropbacks were taught after intermediate series. Breath. Nancy goes on to say that the intermediate series included Vrikakasana after Karandavasana. The intermediate series ended with Gamukasana. Nancy also notes that Pat Abhai Joyce added Supta Urdva Pada Vajrasana as well as the seven headstands when David Williams asked for more. According to Nancy, these eight postures were not part of the intermediate series prior to this. Tristhana means the three places of attention or action, breathing system, posture, and looking place. These three are very important for yoga practice, and cover the three levels of purification, the body, nervous system, and the mind. They are always performed in conjunction with each other. In his book, Yoga Mela, Pat Abhai Joyce recommends staying five to eight breaths in a posture, or staying for as long as possible in a posture. Breathing instructions given are to do rikaka and purika, as much as possible. It is sufficient, however, to breathe in and out five to eight times in each posture. In an interview regarding the length of the breath, Pat Abhai Joyce said. Inhale 10 to 15 seconds then exhale also 10 to 15 seconds. Bondas. He goes on to clarify. 
connection between breath and bandhas. Your breath strength is possibly 10 second inhalations and exhalations, you do 10, 15 seconds possible, you do 15. 100 possible, you perform 100. 5 is possible, you do 5. Mlabandha, or root lock at the pelvic floor, unabandha, drawing back the abdomen, 2 inches below the navel, jaladhara bandha, throat lock, achieved by lowering the chin slightly while raising the sternum. His son Manju Joyce also recommends taking more breaths in difficult postures. Pat Abhai Joyce recommends breathing fully and deeply with the mouth closed. He does not specifically refer to Ajayi breathing. However, Manju Joyce does. Manju Joyce also refers to breathing called Durga Rikaka Purika, meaning long, deep, slow exhalations and inhalations. It should be Durga, long, and like music. The sound is very important. You have to do the Ajayi Pranayama. In late 2011, Sherath Joyce, the grandson of Pat Abhai Joyce, declared his feelings on the issue, stating that Ajayi breathing was not done in the asana practice, but also stated that the breathing should be deep breathing with sound. He reiterated this notion in a conference in 2013 stating, You do normal breath, inhalation, and exhalation with sound. Ajayi breath is a type of prima. This is just normal breath with free flow. Drishti Vinyasa Mantras Sources in 2014 published on YouTube, Manju Joyce dodges the question, what is the difference between Ajayi breathing and free breathing? By saying that the breathing in Ashtanga should be long and deep with the sound like the ocean. He also states that if you don't make sound, that is okay, too. However he makes no distinction between the two terms and provides no explanation. As far as other types of pranayama in Ashtanga, the consensus seems to be they should be practiced after the asanas have been mastered. Pat Abhai Joyes originally taught pranayama to those practicing the second series, and later changed his mind, teaching pranayama after the third series. Sherath Joyce recently produced a series of videos teaching alternate nostril breathing to beginners. This was never taught to beginners by his grandfather, and is one of the many changes Sherath has made to the Ashtanga Yoga method of instruction. Bandhas are one of the three key principles in Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, alongside breath and drishti. There are three principal bandhas which are considered internal body locks. Both Pat Abhai Joyce and Sherath Joyce recommend practicing Mula and Uddiyana Bandha even when not practicing Asana. Pat Abhai Joyce has this to say, you completely exhale, apply Mula Bandha and after inhaling you apply Uddiyana Bandha. Both bandhas are very important. After bandha practice, take to the location where they are applied and maintain that attention at all times, while walking, talking, sleeping and when walk is finished. Always you control mala bandha. Sherath Joyce says, without bandhas, breathing will not be correct, and the asanas will give no benefit. 8 Limbs of Ashtanga Drishti is where one focuses the eyes while in the asana. In the Ashtanga Yoga method, there is a prescribed point of focus for every asana. There are nine drishtis, the nose, between the eyebrows, navel, thumb, hands, feet, up, right side and left side. In the words of Pat Abhai Joyce, 
Vinyasa means breathing system. Without Vinyasa, don't do asana. When Vinyasa is perfect, the mind is under control. Vinyasa means breathing with movement. For each movement, there is one breath. All asanas are assigned a certain number of vinyasas. Confusion with Power Yoga Media and Injury According to Sharath, the purpose of vinyasa is for internal cleansing. Breathing and moving together while performing asanas makes the blood hot, or as Pat Abhai Joyce says, boils the blood. Thick blood is dirty and causes disease in the body. The heat created from yoga cleans the blood and makes it thin, so that it may circulate freely. Sherath also claims that the heated blood removing toxins, impurities, and disease from the organs through sweat produced during the practice. He claims that it is only through sweat that disease leaves the body and purification occurs. The Ashtanga practice is traditionally started with the following Sanskrit mantra. Vandgur Karavinda Sadarita Sftamasuk Vabadhi, Nirius Ja with Makran Galakyam Sasra Hel Hala Mohantyai, Bhapura Kra Akakakrasi Dryam, Sahasra Iraza Svetam Pramai Patanjalam. Which is roughly translated into English as I bow to the lotus feet of the gurus, the awakening happiness of one's own self revealed, beyond better, acting like the jungle physician, pacifying delusion, the poison of samsara. Taking the form of a man to the shoulders, holding a conch, a discus, and a sword, one thousand heads white, to Patanjali, I salute. And closes with the Mangala mantra. Svasta Prajbya Periplayant Nyena Mrgya Mama, Gabrama Ebya Subhamasta Nitya Loka with Makran Samast Sukhanobhavantu. Which is roughly translated into English as May all be well with mankind, may the leaders of the earth protect in every way by keeping to the right path, may there be goodness for those who know the earth to be sacred, may all the worlds be happy. Pat Abhai Joyce claimed to have learned the system of Ashtanga from Sri T. Krishnamcharya, who learned it from a text called Yoga Kuranta by Vama Marishi. This text was imparted to Krishnamakarya in the early 1900s by his guru, Yogeshwara Ramamohana Brahmashari. Joyce insists that the text described all of the sanas and vinases of the sequences of the Ashtanga system. However, the Yoga Kuranta text is said to have been eaten by ants, so it is impossible to verify his assertions. Additionally, it is unusual that the text is not mentioned as a source in either of the books by Krishnamcharya, Yoga Makaranda, and Yogsanagalu. According to Manju Joyce, the sequences of Ashtanga Yoga were created by Krishnamcharya. There is some evidence to support this in his book Yoga Makaranda, which lists nearly all postures of the Pat Abhai Joy's primary series and several postures from the intermediate and advanced series, described with reference to Vinyasa. There is also evidence that the Ashtanga Yoga series incorporates exercises used by Indian wrestlers and British gymnasts. Recent academic research details documentary evidence that physical journals in the early 20th century were full of the postural shapes that were very similar to Krishnamakarya's asana system. In particular, the flowing Surya Namaskar, which later became the basis of Krishnamakarya's Mysore style, was not yet considered part of Yogasana. Pat Abhai Joyce never made a distinction between his sequences of asana and the eight-limbed Ashtanga Yoga associated with Patanjali and the Yoga Sutras. It was his belief that asana, the third limb, must be practiced first, and only after could one master the other seven limbs. 
Sources 2 The sage Patanjali outlined eight aspects or limbs of spiritual yogic practice in his Yoga Sutras. Power Yoga is a style of yoga created by Brian Kest, in the late 80s. Baron Baptiste, a Bikram enthusiast, put his own spin on the style, and branded it. Neither Baron Baptiste's Power Yoga nor Brian Kest's Power Yoga are synonymous with Ashtanga Yoga. In 1995, Pat Abhai Joyce wrote a letter to Yoga Journal expressing his disappointment at the association between his Ashtanga Yoga, and the newly coined style Power Yoga, referring to it as ignorant bodybuilding. Yoga Journal Magazine in an article published by The Economist, it was reported that a good number of Mr. Joyce's students seemed constantly to be limping around with injured knees or backs because they had received his adjustments, yanking them into lotus, the splits or a back bend. Tim Miller, one of Joyce's students, indicates that the adjustments were fairly ferocious. Injuries related to Joyce's Ashtanga Yoga have been the subject of discussion in a Huffington Post article. In 2008, yoga researchers in Europe published a survey, that lacked a control group therefore limiting internal validity, of practitioners of Ashtanga Yoga indicating that 62% of the respondents had suffered at least one injury that lasted longer than one month. However the mass media has reported injuries in other styles of yoga equally as often as in Ashtanga Yoga. For example, Bikram Yoga, Hot Yoga, and Iyengar Yoga have received equally bad press. The long holds in headstand and shoulder stand, essential postures to an Iyengar Yoga practice, have been reported as being linked to serious injury in numerous sources. Broad had this to say, one of the saddest and most thoughtful letters came from an elderly man who studied with Iyengar in India for 16 years. His list of personal injuries included torn ligaments, damaged vertebrae, slipped discs, deformed knees, and ruptured blood vessels in his brain.